Alright. Chicago Avenue Division. Oh, I'm way too far. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wait, is it in manual mode or? Yeah. All right. SCG is what I call it. Oh, I thought you were gonna use the paddles. <laughs> Shifts though. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, did a little more work to it. A few more horsepower. <laughs> <laughs> does does the, did the car ever backfire before? Oh yeah. It sounds, it sounds nice. It sounds like almost gunshot or something. <laughs> <laughs> like how often does it backfire? It usually only happens in the morning. Ah, uh, like when it's cold. Yeah. <laughs> That's oh not, man. Or I'm leaving from work out the lot. <laughs> like rather than a Gallardo, it's more like an Uricon. <laughs> yeah. Uh. <laughs> yeah, I've actually recorded a couple Uricons like with the popping. Dang, now my hand's shaking. <laughs> 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 yeah. yeah it's a toy. Fun. I think I might get a GTR next or a McLaren. One of the two. Yeah, I mean, I'd say the McLaren because like those things are nice and chill. I mean, they sound good too. 570s, that's what I want. 570, that's like yeah. Level. <laughs> yeah, but then the 12c, um, those have been like really innovative as well because mm -hmm. of the um, the way you open the doors, like mm -hmm. you just slide your hand across like the panel. It's mm -hmm. really cool. Did you floor it on that corner, or? Mm -hmm. Oh, to <laughs> say, it's like don't floor. It. I mean, that's that's scary. Nah, I didn't floor. It. <laughs> uh, but after work, I might say, I Yeah. Because the thing with the BMWs is, is that they always like beep. Well, it would, like no matter the cause, like yeah. if your license plate lamp is off, it'll be for that too. I got a market bulbs in there, and if it's real cold, it'll say it's malfunction. But actually, they're on. <laughs> yeah. It only happens in the winter. <laughs> That's ZL1 that I see. Oh, never mind. I thought because um, there's a there's a Camaro ZL1 that's usually at the um. That's white one right there. Yeah, the yeah, it's an SS. I usually see it at the um police station, uh, like a ZL1 with like carbon fiber and stuff like that. Like yeah, like the wings, the um, the louvers on like the hood. Yeah. Maybe even the rims. I'm not sure about the rims. Oh. Looks like those would be like. A thousand a piece, probably. Expensive. <laughs> I still want this one. You took. I think you took a video of the uh, one of my landlord's car, the black RS5. Uh, RS5. Um. Oh, I, would uh, I think so. S5. I may have. Um, actually, no, it was a like a dark blue convertible S5 that I recorded.
Oh my god, this is... <laughs> this is so incredibly fun. I mean... <laughs> scary but fun. Yeah. Like, <laughs> this is the life right here, like a BMW. Yeah, I get you in five, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> like I'm not quite used to the zero to 60, but like, I probably will learn to become more... I'll probably learn to adapt more to it. Oh, okay. Like, cause like since I have since Start while I'm driving, or something. yeah. Cause while I'm driving, I'd have complete control over the car. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm. Just a three thirty five back there. <laughs> Nothing compared to this thing. Yeah. It's Gallardo on steroids. That's like. That's what I keep titling this thing. I put it on like Instagram and YouTube, called this thing the Gyrado on steroids. Whoa. <laughs> oh my god. That is insane. Alright. <laughs> Oh yeah, I remember. His name was Joe. Yeah, I also recorded um a Ford SVT Raptor down there. And um I saw I keep seeing like um some exotic supercars down there too. I found like a there was a dark blue Audi R8 Spider, um a white McLaren 12C. Yep, and um a dark gray GTR was there as well. Like he got, like he started off with the GCR, then the R8, and then the last I saw was the um, the McLaren. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah. But I mean, maybe the um, RS5 might be his daily driver. Give it a couple revs behind this uh, five series right here, <laughs> bro. He's gonna be so confused. Like, what? How? Right. <laughs> <laughs> like, I bet this guy is like, to <laughs> like, uh, like totally confused. Like, what was that? <laughs> like, right. <laughs> If I put it like right here, my hand won't shake as much because, like, that's. Is it bumpy? <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> oh, yeah, the Hellcat. I saw that when I was coming, um, when I was on my way here. <laughs> Yeah, there's the guys from before who I was talking to actually. Yeah, Let's give it a couple rest for them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, definitely. I thought they were like valets, but, they, but those guys are actually from the Humane Society. Yeah. Yeah, the Hellcat's nothing compared to this thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think the zero to sixties are about the same on these. Yeah. Kind of interested to see like what would happen actually. I mean, <laughs> that car's got a higher top speed, I think. I'm not sure. So I can top out in 207. Oh really? Okay, and you're three miles per hour faster than yeah. then. <laughs> 207. Yeah. But like if you were like a quarter mile race. 
Or you do a quarter mile, he might. That car, I think, may win. If it was stock to stock. Ah. Quarter mile, I think. Because best car does better in half miles and miles longer, longer distances. Quarter mile right now, I'm at about 12, 12. What's the fastest you've gone in, um, in a car? Probably like one sixty three. For me, probably like seventy in a Toyota Sienna. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, on the track. Like this was actually in Georgia. We were like on the um the highway. Oh, okay. Has one of those to 2012, I think. Oh, wow. Yeah, he had like Borla exhaust. <laughs> yeah. I have a buddy who had that on a C63. Some of uh, some people from my high school. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's give it another ref for them. Let's see. They'll be like, whoa, what was that? <laughs> let's do that. Yeah, I'm a freshman there. Oh wow. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm already taking like auto tune up and like there are only like two freshmen in there, me and like a good friend of mine. Oh okay. So yeah. Everyone else is like there are a few sophomores, the rest of them are like juniors and seniors. Oh wow, okay. Yeah. <clears throat> so WRX. I think I've seen that one at a restaurant nearby. Now I know what it's like. Now I kind of know what it's like to be in a Gallardo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's there's sixties. This is about the same as the um the first gen, I think. I think the first gen super Legera? I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, cause I do know they're like like four seconds or less. Mm -hmm. And uh, I actually know a guy. Um, did I tell you about um the restaurant Nona D's? Oh, what um, it's on like um, Roosevelt Road near Harlem. Uh, this place called Nona D's. The the owner there owns. It's a 2000. It's like a second gen Gallardo. He claims it's a 2015, but they were like discontinued by that point. Oh. Okay. Yeah, and then he's also got a Ferrari 458 Italia, which he claims it has like a sp the engine from the Speciale. <laughs> yeah, so it's like half a million dollars, <laughs> but I didn't believe him about that either. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Right. Like I know these cars because like he said it was a, a Speciale, but then when I finally saw it, it had it didn't have the fascia from the Italia. So oh, okay, okay. yeah, he said, and then he wants to say it's got the engine. Yeah, I wasn't falling for it. Yeah, I doubt it. But yeah, this car is still cool though. <laughs> I think 
probably like 50. 52. <laughs> Um, I parked it like outside of Trader Joe's. 